จารย์สุเทพชินาวโลแต่ my Buddhist name is c h i n a w a l o It means one who overcome for the best, and I like this uh, my name, eh? my Buddhist name. I ordained in 1988, and just I start to interest in Buddhist. I met uh, my friend who have the owner of the bookshop, and he introduced me to know uh, the uh, l o m p o t i a n book. And I bought the, the book and read, and I found that his uh, technique is uh, moving hand, uh, dynamic meditation with the moving hand, hand in the three s t e p One, two, three. One, two, three, and our four s t e p One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. Uh, so anyway, when you remember uh, the step, don't count. Just uh, bear awareness uh, to make you observe the body, and later on when the thoughts a r i e you can observe the thought and then come back to the body. Before you get the mindfulness stronger, you can uh, know the thought and see the thought later. So when I When I uh, start this, why I have the really appreciate to this technique at the beginning because I I have smoked before. I smoke for eight year, and every day I smoke one and half packet uh, of cigarettes, and I feel I got trouble like on the silver c a n or my t o e s is very trouble. I always use my I, my work is a uh, talking, like uh, I teach uh, uh, something like that. So when I feel my my throat is a uh, trouble, I would like to stop smoking, but I cannot. Uh, I know the how terrible it is, but I can stop for half month, or the most I can stop is the before is a uh, two months. After that, I go back to smoke again. When I read his book, I found that. If my hand is um, busy all the time with the with moving hand all the time, we have no choice to uh, to to uh, to smoke. And one day I went to see my mother, and my mother wished me to ordain to be a monk. And I said, okay, I agree with her to take time to have a rest before I I think what thing that I do later. So I took ordination. And I asked my friend to introduce me to stay in uh, Wasanam Nai. And during the rainy season, I went to Wasanam Nai and stayed there. And I have seen and listened the Dhamma from l o n g w a t i a n At that time, he is very seriously uh, sickness with the intestine cancer. He was a two time operation and took uh, two i n t e r s of intestine out. So he he have the only one in terms of the intestine very short. Uh, so he have ever been uh, told the disciple he wish to dislocate because he can carry on the the discipline of the monk who, but all the the, the disciples and he can continue because he sick. So he do something for earn his life and he agree and stay and he teaching. Uh, anyway, at that last period of life, he really uh, serious in him himself. It's very painful, very sickness. His uh, health is very weak, but he still, when he give the Dhamma talk, very very wonderful. He r e p l i e very strong and encourage the people to practice. Uh, he said he will teach him till the last period of time, till he die. So, uh, and that time he, when he came to Wat s a n a m n a i on the 6 t h September, and on the 9 t h September he left Wat s a n a m n a i I, or or have the good opportunity to carry his wheelchair and carry him on to uh, go back to the l e s to l e s province, and he passed away at that place. Uh, we call Thapning Kwan on 13 
September 1988. Uh, I am the the monk who ordained at that year to two ordination at that year. Uh, most of them is disrobed only me still in the monkhood, and I keep practice myself. So when uh, when I practice till finish the rainy season, my mother come to visit me and asked me to stay in the monkhood all the, my whole life, but I don't agree with her. And after that, I feel that I have to practice to taste the Dhamma. So I told her that I'm not at uh, this slope now. So I, I went to practice in what uh, the Dhamma, Perpanatikom, uh, Chonburi, uh, Chonburi province. And when I went there to practice with Luang Po, Luang Pu, Mark Santamano, he is very good, uh, good, good uh, teacher. And I stay with him and practice with him. I wake, wake up uh, 3 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock in the, in, the, in the night time. I sleep. All the whole time, I practice walk, with walking, with walking, meditation, sitting, and do everything that I try to aware our body and see the thought. But at that time, we have the Think 
it have something is uh, the power of our mind is can tell can change something that very excellent that was that is uh, something that motivates myself to stay in the mangoes and after that I keep practice and uh, I was advised by the senior monk to stay in Chanburi and start to build the temple in 1989 and the second year of ordination and I went there and start to uh, build a temple with him and this temple name Wat Phem Tham Cham Rơn uh, in uh, Soi Dao district, uh, Amper Soi Dao and Chanthaburi province in the east part of Thailand is close to the Cambodia border uh, it's far from the, the border about 30 kilometers so it's uh, quite far from the Bang Bangkok uh, about 300 more, uh, 300 kilometers more so I have to go up and down there and build the temple and take care of the temple for four years during that year I I uh, do the activity in uh, with the the Longotian uh, disciple, and I become the 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 monk who have the activity with them. Anyway, uh, after that, I moved from that temple to another temple to help them to develop the temple for another three years, and later on, I I. I do the project to help the SAV S patient for three years. That's a the good time for my life in the monkhood because I stay with the patient that the people were really scared with the SAV S patient at that time. And most of them, when they know they got the SAV positive, not so far they get to sick and not so far they die. So I stay with the person who come get sick and with the sorrow, emotion, with the sadness, with the many, uh, upon, uh, many things uh, and later on they pass away. So I work with them uh, for three years. That make me feel that life is very impermanent and what in the value of life that we choose to uh, find out from our life. We, all the being, all the human being who born in this world, we have never can still alive for more than 100 years. Uh, most, of the, most of them is a die. So how we can get the benefit in our life during we still alive, that's very important. I myself is, uh, have ever been enjoyed uh, fighting in the jungle before. That is a very terrible time. So if I, I die at that time, I, I have no choice to, to study Buddhism. So even I born in the Buddhist country, so I cannot rely the, the, the very wonderful teaching of the Buddha. So uh, when I practice until after 10 years in my monkhood, after I work with the SAVS patient, it's very difficult time for my life also and really suffer from that. And I make my decision to go to do the long retreat that I I uh, organized the long retreat 40 days before the learning season before. So uh, I go back to join the 40 day retreat. I start with the, start with the 20 of May till 30 of June. Uh, till now, we still have the 40 day retreat in our Long uh, Thien uh, You can go and join the 40 day retreat. That means the project, this kind of project is a prepare the monk to do the long retreat to summarize all the experience and uh, cultivate the energy before they uh, separate to stay in, in uh, many temples to keep, uh, to help the people and practice themselves, know the way how to practice them and, and at the same time they can contribute the, uh, experience to the people who interact in practice. Uh, when I went there, when I went there, I met the the monks. He ordained after me five years and younger than me. And he the first year that he joined the forty day retreat, and he discovered something, and he told me about he create the pattern of walking meditation. Uh, 
uh, he talk about, he think uh, the story of the Buddha he, when he born as a young baby and in Lumpini and the young baby can walk seven steps and the rooted flower come out from the ground and carry his feet. Is true or not? At the final, he discovered the pattern of walking meditation. So we can, uh, we later now we talk about the seven lotus flower walking meditation. When you walking in this pattern, the the footprint will walk on the same place. Uh, when step five and step six and turn and hit the heel, this is the very important technique. Hit the heel, and then start walking step one, two, three, forward and backward. Uh, this is very important. So I create, after I have the benefit from this technique, I develop this pattern. Uh, at the first time, I put the red color on my feet and walk on the white, white cross. Uh, this pattern, the first pattern still have in my, in my temple. And later on, develop a little bit, a bit till uh, become the very beautiful seven lotus flower uh, walking meditation. Now I contribute and teach in Thailand, uh, and I have the time to teach the people in Wathaton, uh in uh, Mae Ai, uh, Chiang Mai province, uh, for for four years there. And when I start to teach meditation and introduce this technique to the people. I uh, got uh, uh, one, one Hawaiian, he come to practice with me for five, for five days and he found this uh, technique uh, very powerful and can help the people around the world and he offered to do, to dig, to create the website for Vatathon. So when he developed the website from Vatathon, uh, uh, the foreigner search in the website and they come to came to Vatathon and practice with me. Uh, that is a good opportunity for me to teach the foreigner. Uh, at that time, my English is not good until now, so uh, I try to develop, develop uh, my English uh, uh, as I can. So anyway. Uh, when I teach them, they found that this technique is very really helpful. So uh, nowadays, the seven rotor flower walking meditation is a contribute in uh, Malaysia, Singapore, and some come from the other country come to practice with me. They took this uh, technique and practice, and we also present this technique in the, uh, some of the devotee is uh, put in the web website, some upload in uh, uh, in uh, YouTube, uh, something like that, that you can find, uh, help you to, to, to practice. And because of the walking pattern is that uh, the Buddha, uh, we call the Putta Lila, Buddha Lila. Lila is a mean movement, dynamic. So, I put the name uh, Putta Lila Mahasati. Mahasati is the grace and the grace, the big or the best mindfulness. So Putta Lila Mahasati is a uh, we can uh, translate in dynamic uh, meditation that can cultivate the the grace mindfulness. And after you cultivate the great mindfulness, you can understand the Dhamma uh, step by step. Uh, so. Uh, after walking with the pattern in Lombotian technique, we walk from 8 to 15 step uh, length and walk, walk uh, forward and backwards. Uh, but this technique is you walk in the same place and because of walk uh, quite short, short way, uh, you cannot move too much focus and not too much to lose because when too much focus, you will get the dishi and get the headache. If you to lose, then you, you cannot because when you turn, you have to hit the heel. When you hit the heel, that means uh, call your mind back to your body. This technique is uh, very powerful and I hope this will be the help the people. It doesn't uh, belong to the Buddhists. Everyone can do because we walk in our daily life. 
It doesn't mean only the Buddhist, uh, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, other who want to find the way of life to realize the truth, they can choose this that technique for walking meditation and help you do a lot. And the second is I develop the moving hand. And I took uh, uh, the beginning of moving hand Nobotian is 14 step. Uh, hand in three step, hand out four step. Uh, so uh, I develop uh, like uh, the Buddha image that we see. This is the Samadhi Buddha. And this is the Blessing Buddha. And this is the Overcome, the Mara Buddha that we saw the Buddha image in a separate posture. So in the ancient time, we have no dynamic uh, dynamic movement, so we do the sculpture. But anyway, it's a have like a, the posture of the, the lay hand is different, like this uh, and like this. So I combine this in uh, 30, 38 step, hand in this 10 step. Uh, so it's a look very beautiful. Yeah. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They said in the samadhi posture. And one hand out, uh, ten step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hand in. Nine step, hand out ten step. So all together, both hand is uh, thirty eight step. It's a popular to the blessing sutra, Mangala sutra. Uh, thirty eight concept to uh, get the good blessing, the highly blessing to the people. It's very very nice. And other is standing Buddha. We uh, combine with the uh, posture of the standing Buddha. Uh, to make it uh, like a dynamic. Also, we accept the, some uh, some posture of chico or yoga uh, combined with the three in one, breathing and the backbone stretch and moving hand together. Uh, if you cultivate three in one uh, with the breathing and hand movement, so we can make the mice my full more strong and the sensation around the body is very strong. We can attain the clear comprehension and later on we can feel the whole body is a more energy, energy. And, uh, and our mind is an aspiration to don't like to go away with the thought and like to come back to more mindful in the body. And this is the foundation of the study the Dharma or the foundation that we can cultivate it and that we can start to see inside. Until we see inside, that means we can attain entry in the stream. And that is the holy state of the holy person. Enter the stream, what we say the stream? The stream of emptiness. And see that when we can empty our mind, no attachment, we have no suffering. So this is some kind of technique, some kind of method that I create and introduce to the meditation worldwide to share on the technique. And I hope this will be a benefit for the person who is interested to practice. Especially our practice is an important thing that I focus to open eye, not the sitting with the closed eye. Yes. Sometimes we cross eye, but uh, most of the the aim of practice is open eye to see the reality from the our eye muscle, and we see the wisdom by our eye wisdom, and see the uh, inside with the Buddha mind, Buddha eyes, 
to know about the reality of the body and mind, to see the world inside, to learn about the world and universe inside. When you see and understand the world and universe inside, you will understand the world and universe outside, and you can deal with outside uh, with a uh, good uh, benefit for our life. Uh, I hope this may be help you to to explain to get the motivation to do the meditation. For me myself, that before I am the uh, social, political, uh, revolutionist or activist. Uh, so now I came to be a Buddhist monk, and I also involved with the social activity, and I do myself to see our feeling and see our mind. I can work with the people outside by not have much uh, conflict and not have much uh, suffering inside. I even uh, any situation I can involve with them and can uh, survive. Uh, like uh, at the, in Thailand now, we have the very strong serious fighting in the political country. Uh, so I think the monks uh, should do some activity, some activity to chair at the NK Buddhism, NK Buddhist monk to help the people realize that even you fighting and kill each other, uh, if you don't kill everyone. Can uh, we will, 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 will die, we will be die. Nobody can, can, uh, can uh, still alive all the whole life, cannot stay forever. But before we die, which is the good quality of life that we should learn and earn in this life. Uh, if we still have the next life, we will volunteer ourselves, we will go to the happy state. If we don't believe in the next life, uh, in this life, we can uh, earn our life with a good benefit and useful life for our life and for the other who have good relationship with us. So I think my experience will be uh, motivated or inspiring you to uh, interest to do meditation, especially uh, my technique that we call Puttali Lama Asati or dynamic meditation. So, in any name, eh, dynamic meditation, uh, when you see the seven lotus flower walking meditation, that uh, that is uh, my developed kill it, uh, the technique and present to the worldwide meditation. Or you know in terms of the Buddha Lila Mahasati, uh, that is a good name also in terms of the Buddhist. Uh, I am come from Buddhist. Anyway, it doesn't... Uh, uh, have the license only the Buddhist can practice. Uh, we are the we are the world. We have the same thing. We have two eyes, two ear. Uh, one nose have two hole and one mouth. Uh, we can send when we feel happy, we love. When we feel sad, we cry. Uh, everyone is uh, the same. So I hope we are have the same nature that we can uh, list the state of the happiness mind by the come back to see ourselves and learn more of ourselves. And all the technique is help you to guide, like the vesicle or the lab that you use for understand, for go to the destination. Uh, I hope this will be beneficial for you.